wear red underwear. Why? So that she can find a man. I don't know, the red is supposed to be like, you know, like fiery. Wow, for the new year. wow, wow. And, uh, okay, so on the stroke Timmy. of midnight, mm -hmm. you're supposed to eat 12 grapes. What? Hmm? For literally like 12 months of the year. 12 grapes. And people it's actually like do this shit. <laughs> you know, like fruitful, like literally fruitful. So, yeah. Don't lie, have you ever tried it? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ivy Kings. Thank you for clicking on the play button. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, superstitions that we heard growing up. On my left, I have Marissa, and on my right, I have Shiro. Please introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Marissa, and I'm from Malaysia, but I'm from a Latino background. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Shiro. I am mostly to Malay, but at the same time, I do have a little bit of Japanese. Okay, so this video is going to be very <laughs> spicy. We're going to be hearing superstitions that I heard as a Nigerian growing up, and she heard as a Latina growing up, and he heard, sorry, she heard as a Malaysian growing up. Let's go. I'll start. First is uh, when I was growing up, like you hear people older than you saying, don't eat while you're standing up or else the food will go straight into your legs. So you have to sit down while eating. Yeah. It's very foolish and stupid and I believe that shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. You next. Okay. So basically like before, um, you know how old people always say like when you eat fish, mm -hmm. they don't let you to eat the head of the fish. Really? Because they tell, yeah. they tell you if you, if you eat it, they will, you will become stupid. What? What? <laughs> yeah, but the reason, the reason behind it, when I found out, when I yeah. grew up, actually is because they want to eat the, the, the head. head part. Yeah. And that's why they, they tell like, oh. to other people that, the, to, you know, no, the not children. People, to the children, saying that it will make you stupid. stupid. Oh my gosh, I would believe oh. that shit. <laughs> How about you? Okay, uh, for us, it's um, very simple position so we, we're starting off so let's do over the simple one mm -hmm. is um if you have unwanted visitors in your house mm -hmm. so to avoid unwanted visitors coming over to your place you just put your broom upside down wait wait unwanted visitors like which like people just normal human beings spirits <laughs> oh spirit like evil spirits people, right? spirits yeah evil spirits basically anything literally unwanted, unwanted. Visitors, you just literally put your broom upside, upside down, down. Oh my gosh, that's spooky, man. You know what? That actually leads me to my next uh, superstition. They say when you whistle at night, yeah. at mm -hmm. night you're calling evil spirits. Yeah, oh my we gosh. We have that too. You guys yeah. do? Yeah, we have that. <laughs> yeah, we have that in common. So, yeah, <laughs> you don't whistle at like, don't even try it. You get slapped because <laughs> you think you're calling evil spirits. All right, sure. Uh, the other one is kids. Like children's, they can't play after seven p.m. If mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, because yeah. they say they will, you will get stolen by a ghost. Stolen by a ghost! Yes. Wow, guys! <laughs> <laughs> and you guys believed it by seven? You're rushing back home. <laughs> I mean, like you, you don't have to like. How do you say like? know the time that it's already seven you can just hear your mother screaming from, <laughs> from the other side like saying like yeah. you have to come back now <laughs> now or not the ghost will steal you and oh you doubling up on the walkthrough <laughs> man what's going on here y'all ain't just gonna be walking through here like y'all oh yeah who is this coming through? you get the double skibbity paps man one for you exactly. yeah, keep on running <laughs> wow all right you all right, um the second one is you know how Basically, a lot of countries tell you break a leg in order to wish you good luck. Oh yeah, that's very common. Yeah. But in Spain, specifically in the Latino culture, you don't really say break a leg. They literally tell you to say uh, mucho mierda, which means loads of shit. So that's why you're <laughs> supposed to say, in order loads to wish shit. someone good luck, you say mucho mierda. Loads of shit. Yes. That's literally telling the person, I know, like, it's I, like the opposite. I don't get it, but Im yeah. Imagine going for a match and then, or you're going to sing and then 
someone just tells you exactly. loads of shit. And you be like, thank you. Loads of <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, I think my turn, right? Yes. Okay, the next is, okay. When a, is it called fleet of birds? When a, a group of birds are flying, what do you call them? They a flight of birds? A flight of birds? Of birds? I, don't, I don't know. I don't remember. Ah, I'm so stupid. Fail English. <laughs> okay, so basically when loads of the birds are like flying, right? Yeah. It's really white ones, I think. Then we kids right, will go out and do our hands like this, lava lava follow me or something like that, or lick leke leke. It's in <laughs> Yoruba, yeah. So this I don't know about other tribes, but yeah. I think the whole thing is common with every tribe. But for my own Yoruba tribe, we say leke leke bami leke 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 bami leke. It means like they should give you something. I don't know what it means, but something white will appear on your fingernails. And we believe that she do run after the birds, like a lake, a lake, something like that. And then hopefully, like the, something white appears on your nails. But apparently, I learned, oops, <laughs> <laughs> I learned that that happens because you lack iron or something that has nothing to do with the birds flying or whatever. So oh, that was just okay. very foolish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How about you? Okay. Uh, the other superstition is that you can't open umbrellas in your house. Yeah. Oh, we have that, something very yeah, similar. We have that too as well, Because yeah. uh, what I remember, they said if, they, if you open your umbrella in the house, a snake will come in. Yeah. Oh, it's exactly. exactly. Okay, you know, as similar, like if you open umbrella under, indoors, basically, yeah. mm -hmm. it will rain on your wedding day. No. That's what they say for us. Yeah, for, for me, for us, snakes. the virus is the snake, yes. Yeah. Snakes. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? All right, um, another one is, if you ever have a nightmare, mm -hmm. you have to tell somebody about it. If not, the nightmare will come true. Or a bad dream, basically. Oh. So you have to tell someone about it. Regardless of how embarrassing or scary or humiliating it is, you have to tell someone about it. So have you been doing that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's superstition, right? So yeah. like, sometimes you're like, oh. Hey, you don't want it to happen, yeah. <laughs> so you have to tell someone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. My next uh, superstition is, okay, you know, sometimes, right, when you're walking on the street, you see, like, maybe if, I don't know, maybe not sometimes, but sometimes you see money on the floor, mm. like, occasionally. So, um, <laughs> basically, in Nigeria, yeah, if you should pick that, they'll tell you, don't pick money from the floor, or else you're going to turn into yam, or somebody will just take you and use you for rituals, like, it's a trap. Wow. You know what yeah. rituals are, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, they will, <laughs> so they will kidnap you and use you for rituals. So basically, don't touch money when you see it on the floor. Just walk okay. away. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I think this one is Chinese. Mm. I think um, you cannot keep a shattered mirror in your house. Or Why? now you get like seven years of bad luck. Mm. Yeah, for us, you cook out of shit is that. You can break a mirror. Once you break it, accidentally or not, seven years bad luck. What? Yeah. Yeah. I've had a lot of shattered mirrors, man. I'm sure you now. I don't believe that shit, man. <laughs> All right, you. Okay, um, let's see. If you dream about, I don't know whether you've had it, but if mm. you have had a dream of your teeth falling out, mm -hmm. you mean someone close to you is going to die. So that's kind of sad. goodness. I know, you already have your teeth falling out in the, mm -hmm. in the dream, and then we, you wake up and you have to like, Oh, oh no! Gosh. Start calling everybody you know. Like mm -hmm. you're okay. For well, Malays, wow. we have we have something similar to that, but yes. it's not a dream. It's like sometimes you know, like when your ears like start ringing, mm. like ee, like that. Yeah, uh, that is when people say that that is someone close to you is gonna die. Oh my oh. gosh! For us, ringing in the ears mm. is literally it literally means that someone is talking about you. And mm. the only way to break that curse or to break that you know the bad news or whatever mm. is to literally bite your own tongue what right like okay. <laughs> and then you stop like you hear really in your ears and it's already annoying you and then you still have to bite your, your tongue. tongue you know actually maybe th that will lead me to like my own next point which is once if you're sneezing continuously that means somebody is calling your name oh. or someone is talking about you and you just keep x, 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 like keep sneezing that means someone's talking you, about you have you. the eyelashes one Eyelash. There's one oh, about when like when your, your eyelash, eyelash fall, right? falls, yeah. mm. like on the right side, it has a different meaning. One side it means someone likes you, oh. and then the other side it means like someone's talking about you. Oh really? Yeah. For wow. us, it's someone 
I don't know if it's like for both, but I think it's for both. If it falls, means that someone is missing you. Ah, yeah. Mm. Cool. <laughs> How about you? Sure? <laughs> to check and see. This is like the last <laughs> round now. Okay. <laughs> you where you can't sit on a pillow. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't sit on a pillow because like, um, you will grow like something at your butt. The it what? boils, right? Yeah, yeah, it boils. Spelling. Yeah, if you sit on a pillow. But, but that one is true. <laughs> like, like, let's say you get like pimples or boils yeah. on your butt. Uh, what? <laughs> That's that, one, that one is almost true. Yeah, yeah. Some, like, some I people really actually, believe that. Yeah. You know, I, I sit on know, pillows like, all the time. <laughs> yeah. Because like uh, to us Malays, like mm. the pillow is something like you sleep on. You put oh, your yeah. head on it. So, so they are trying to avoid you from yeah. sitting on. So it's better for you yeah. to not put your butt there. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. All right, your turn. Okay, um. For Latinos, we usually have a lot of things in our house that either make noise, mm -hmm. whether it's like the, um, how do you call that, those things that you hang, like at the door or something, so when you move it, it literally goes Oh, oh one. okay, like, like once you enter a shop, like, to, yeah, show, yeah, to yeah. notify but them for us, we have it like in our houses, so it's either mm -hmm. in different shapes or glass or whatever, whatever it is, mm -hmm. so literally it believes that it's supposed to ward off evil eyes oh. even wearing like anklets that's mm. why we wear a lot of anklets whether it's bells or whatever mm. it is so it's believed that it literally protects you from the evil spirits wow <laughs> wow <laughs> never heard okay uh my last one i don't know if you guys still have any more do you guys have, have any more no. how about you oh she it looks like you have, a, <laughs> you have quite some okay don't worry uh, for my own last one if you have itchy palms, like if your palm is itching you, it means good luck. Like <gasps> money is about to come your way. Yeah, it's it's us. <laughs> the same. It's really and they say do not itch it. Like for us, they say oh, do once it's it. itchy, do not scratch it. You literally just have to place it in your pocket. Like that's the first oh. thing you do. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how that's going to help if it's really itchy. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So itchy palms means some money what? coming your way. No, <laughs> All right. So how many, how many more do you have? I uh, have this one, it's, we're going, I mean, we're already in the last quarter of the year. Mm -hmm. So this one is for all you singles out there. Ooh. Yeah, so <laughs> Drop in the And tips. you're looking for mm -hmm. a man or a woman. <laughs> okay, Give so us. basically the, the night of New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. a woman should wear red underwear. Why? So that she can find a man. I don't know, the red is supposed to be like, you know, like fiery. Wow, for the new year. wow, wow. And, uh, okay, so on the stroke Same of me. midnight, mm -hmm. you're supposed to eat 12 grapes. Hmm? For literally like 12 months of the year. 12 grapes. And people it's actually like do this shit. Food, you know, like fruitful, <laughs> like literally fruitful. So, yeah. Don't lie, have you ever tried it? Oh my god! <laughs> No! <laughs> I'm not trying it. I've not, I've not tried it. I actually just uh, found out about that. So yeah, I've not tried it. But I'll, I'll try this year. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know how that, how that goes That goes you. right <laughs> in the next video. <laughs> Alright, uh, do you have one more? Just give us one more. Um, yeah, the last one is... Um, if you're sweeping, you should never ever sweep the feet. Because sometimes you have legs down and then you accidentally sweep somebody's feet. So you should mm -hmm. never ever sweep on a single woman's or a single person's feet. Because it means that you literally just... Um, sweeping away their husband? They will not find a husband. They will not get married. That's another superstition. Well, maybe <gasps> that's the reason why I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> what? <laughs> People have been sweeping on your feet. <laughs> why are you Who's that that like? <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> if you've watched this video to this extent, I love you. Oh my God, you're an MVP. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel till now, please subscribe, help my life. I need 1,000 subscribers. Okay, uh, you need to follow Marissa on Instagram. Her art will be right here. Yeah. And Shiro on Instagram, her art will be right here. She doesn't post anything, but please just follow her. <laughs> till I come your way again. Have a nice day. Bye. That was fun and I learned a lot. Yeah. Thank you guys. We had so many. Like, you know, I know in Nigerian culture, you're not supposed to wear anklets. They say that it's like. Not, it's not a superstition, maybe, it's, it's just a moral thing. Yeah. It's not a superstition, it's just morality. That if you wear anklets, like, you'll be perceived as a prostitute or something. Really?
Actually, the one yeah. I heard was the witchcraft. Like maybe it's Ibu's then, maybe. I don't know. Because oh. it's one Ibu guy who told me that. He said if you wear like anklets, then you're just literally like, you're, 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 you're rich. Oh. And I was like, Waka. <laughs> 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 because I know that there was one, I, was, I went through a phase, like when I became like in school back then, I used to wear like anklets. And then there was I the leader the of the, ch- the, the choir, and he was like, I'm sorry, you can't wear anklets to climb on the altar. It's it's not uh, morally correct. Really? It's prostitutes that wear. Ankle. I'm like, are you mad? <laughs> Do I look like? Don't shut off your mind if you don't understand stuff. Are you still rolling? Yeah. Oh my god. Just <laughs> <laughs> shut off your mouth. Like shut off your mouth. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so so much. Oh yeah. What some? Just take a picture of me. Really? I thought you want to take a picture of us. <laughs> <laughs> I was one person. You know, you need the excuse and the, to give the reason for your viewers why you're hitting your microphone. Oh, <laughs> is it still rolling? So whenever it hits, you can put my photo over there. <laughs> <laughs> Moses, you missed out on a very interesting right. episode. I'll need serious face plan. You watch it later. Okay. You need a serious face or what? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Another one. Was taking pictures of you. Killing your his vibe. <laughs> He's taking. He wants to take a picture of himself. Of him, sorry. Most are in a pic. Okay. Ooh, look at that face. <laughs> Why are you giving us um, <laughs> resting? He's giving us resting bitch face. <laughs> More like he's sick and tired of it. That's, that's the face. 